Recently I had to make some gun cotton at work, also called nitrocellulose. So today I thought about, since nowadays these cotton ear swabs come with paper in the middle, maybe we could nitrate the whole thing and make some explosive Q-tips. So let's grab some sulfuric acid as well as some nitric acid, azeotropic. We'll try performing the nitration in this petri dish because the q-tips fit in perfectly and with a glass beaker they would have to stand up and we'd have to use quite a lot of acid. So in order to know how much acids we're gonna have to mix um, for this reaction dish I want to measure the volume real quick. So let's grab some water and put it on the scale. Let's tear the dish and fill it up about three quarters of the way with water. So that would be roughly 40 milliliters of acid mixture we're gonna need. So for an effective nitration mixture we're gonna need one part nitric acid and two parts concentrated sulfuric acid. So I'll quickly measure them out. So for me I'll grab about 15 milliliters of nitric. and 30 milliliters of sulfuric. We'll mix them in an ice bath, so I'll quickly fill this uh, dish with some cold water. Now it's really important to add the sulfuric to the nitric and not the other way around because the nitric would float on the sulfuric acid and on the layer between it could get very hot which would result in some nitrous oxides being released. So we're gonna add a stirfish to the nitric acid and put that in the ice bath. Turn on the stirring just a little. And slowly, over the course of a few minutes, we're gonna add the sulfuric acid. Now we can go ahead and prepare the cotton swabs. I have two different kinds. Um, the white ones seem to be a little more stiff than the brown ones. These are a little more flexible in the middle. So maybe they absorb the acids better and can easily uh, nitrate through until it reaches the middle. I'm a little worried about these ones. They might take too long to nitrate. Place them in the petri dish. And now we can go ahead and pour the acid on top. I'll use a glass stir rod to mix them around a little. Make sure they're evenly coated. We'll leave them in there for about five minutes. I don't want the cotton on the ends to be too mushy afterwards, but the middle should be nitrated through, so I don't know how much time we'll give it, but five minutes seems reasonable.
we'll have to make sure that all of the acid is washed out otherwise they won't dry correctly uh, you can do that either by using a first bath with some ammonia or sodium bicarbonate and then a second one with water however uh, just rinsing with a lot of water works fine too I'll leave them in there for quite some time because the acid needs to get washed out right from the center and that's gonna take a while. So it's the next day and this is actually just the second batch. Uh, the first one ignited in the oven. So that's kind of a good sign uh, since it was only in the nitrating solution for a few minutes and this one we left in there for around 10 minutes. However, I noticed on the first batch that only the ants would burn. So let's try with these and see if they are any better. Okay, so it's still just the ants that are nitrated enough. I was kind of expecting that uh, cotton with its large surface area can easily absorb all of the acids and this one didn't turn to a, enough of a mush to really absorb the acid and get really nitrated all the way through. Uh, we can see, however, if we really try to light it, that it does burn somewhat better. You can see kind of some self-oxidation here and there, but it's just charring and if we really want to burn it, then it just looks like wood. So I guess we can't really make exploding q-tips in this way, but it still was a nice experiment to try.